Hey everyone, it's Casey. It is um, Sunday. I don't know the date. Um, uh, November 14th, and it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm driving from Washington, D.C. down to Raleigh, North Carolina, and this is all kind of, uh, you know, again, kind of spur the moment stuff. So here's a recap of what's happened the last couple days. I was at my uncle's place and um, sitting on the couch in the morning, I shot out a bunch of notes on couch surfing. And one person in West Virginia wanted to take me. His name was James. So James and I, I went to James's house and we had a blast. I mean, really a solid guy, a nice guy. He's like 27, starting his own business, so we had a lot to talk about. And um, we hung out at his place and then we went out to kind of like a couch surfers, uh, Peace Corps volunteer party. That was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that was downtown Charleston, West Virginia. And then after that, we jumped over to the bar, hung out there, got to meet some locals. It was a pretty funny scene. Um, talked about like moonshine and uh, the Whites of West Virginia, Jesco and D. Ray White. If you don't know who they are, check out the Whites of West Virginia. Um, or that was in that other Hank Williams song that I posted about some people in um, down in West Virginia so uh, good time uh, really good time and then James the next day we got up he made me breakfast and we set off uh, to go tree climbing we climbed a nice tree in a holler just outside of town um, did maybe like a 45 or 50 foot climb it was his first time and uh, that seemed pretty pretty healthy for him so that was fun and then uh, we Went back to his place, and he said, Hey, there's a car for sale in Washington, D.C. Want to go? And I said, Sure. So we mapped it out and jumped in the car. Uh, got plates for from his old car, and we were going to just tag it with those so he could drive back and then left. We got in last night around 8 o'clock, checked out the car. It was a piece of junk. He didn't want it. So we left. I met up with my good friend Andrew uh, Samyak from Michigan State. We call him Tex. So Tex and his girlfriend and James and I went, and then Tex's friend came with us, and we all went down to a dive and you know had dinner and just kind of kicked it. And then James and I couch surfed that night, and we couch surfed in uh, north of DC in a small neighborhood. It was pretty like a pretty rough neighborhood. Everyone was saying, but it was great. Nice, nice people, fun times, like a fun house party. Maybe 30 people there in a keg. Um, so we hung out there, and then we uh, hitched back to the house that we were staying at, about three blocks away. Woke up this morning and uh, helped uh, the girl that I was couch surfing out with her bike, kind of get it tuned up. And then we, James and I bounced downtown uh, D.C., got the check out, cool stuff along the way, like the, um, I saw the Washington Monument, uh, but I've been there recently. I went there a couple years ago, so I wasn't too excited to stick around. Decided to get in the car, shot out a bunch of couch surfing notes, and I got a few back already, which is great. Um, it's kind of a weird position when a lot of people want to like be really nice and give you a place to stay, and you have to respond to them and say, uh, I already found someone. So um, the, f the first person to reply to me is a girl uh, down here. She said I could stay on her couch, and her friends are getting together tonight to watch a movie, and said that I was welcome to come. So. Hopefully my time will be good. I can get in town early enough to knock out a little bit of work and um, maybe like an hour or two of work and then go hang out and maybe catch this movie. I could use a shower too. Uh, but otherwise, it's been a great trip. I'm trying to think of what I'm doing tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. I've got to be on a call at 9 a.m. and work all day. So I'll do that probably in Raleigh. Maybe at this girl's place, maybe at a coffee shop. I'll figure something out. And then... Um, I'll probably just drive down to Gainesville or to Jacksonville because I think that's where James is flying into, but I don't really know. This is my buddy, the reason that I'm kind of driving to Florida, uh, kind of. And maybe go to Jacksonville, see if I can couch surf there, or go to Gainesville, see if I can couch surf. Depends on where he is. Or I can stay with his girlfriend. But I'd rather not go to Gainesville until I got James just because I don't want to backtrack an hour or two, however long it is. Uh, but that's it right now. I've clocked. 1,058 miles. Uh, I've driven it all myself. It's having a blast. This cold's... Oh, it was gone yesterday, but I woke up today maybe with allergies. 
so I'm not hungry. Um, so I haven't been eating much, uh, but you know, it's it's just really an incredibly cheap thing to do. Um, you know, if you're if you're smart about what you eat and you know where you stay, you can spend like no money at all, and you can still have you know a better time than you would have if you stayed in a nice hotel. And sleeping on that couch was great because you got to really feel these people and you got to feel this new lifestyle out and see you know what you can take away from it. One of the big takeaways I had from James was that he talked about going to Nicaragua and he was there for a year volunteering, and that's a pretty solid thing to do. So um, we talked about. The costs of flying to Nicaragua, he said about 300 to 350 bucks round trip from D.C. He found a ticket for. He just went there, and it was super cheap, and he was staying at a place for between 5 and $7 a night. So that's about 250 bucks a month, right? Um, no, it's not. It's like 150 bucks a month. So it's super, super cheap if it's 5 bucks a night. So uh, maybe, maybe that's in the plans later. We'll have to see what what January brings and if I, uh, if I jump on any other trips, so, um, but, uh, yeah, so right now I'm on 95 heading south, I'll be there in a couple hours, um, awesome, take care.